<laughs> it burns. It still burns, even after all these years. <laughs> His chin was making a really weird um, movement. Can I talk to you? No? Thinking maybe one of them has taken the key to the mechanical door. <laughs> no. Dr. Olga, we should perhaps say hello. What? And he is besmitten who thought to besmite. <laughs> besmite? <laughs> Get it? But all these people are crazy. Have you seen the mammoths too? Yep. Go tell the staff. That way maybe they'll believe me. And have you seen any dragons too? Nope. Mm -mm. Looking for anything really. So you're finally awake. Has Dr. Olga been informed? The chins move really like weirdly when they talk. Get your bearings. I understood that you'd be staying with us for a little while yet. Yes. Not voluntarily. There's nothing more in his office, is there? Such a big desk and nothing in it. Nope. I think we've stolen everything we could from here. Oop. How about these? Uh... Oh, this man is sleeping now. Hmm. He's got the key. Never mind me, I'm just stealing from the other patients. <laughs> right, that was the wrong way. <laughs> she looks like a drunk. <laughs> Can see why they wouldn't leave let her leave from the hospital just yet. <laughs> Right. Oh, of course. Yeah. Got inventory. Uh, tea. Sure, the owl would be interested in that. Can I close the door again? Well, it's not like the birds will uh, escape. Although maybe the patients will uh, steal the birds. Everybody can have a mechanical bird on their in their room. Oop, oop, oop. Trying to get back to the balcony in as straight a line as possible. Oop, wrong door. It's this one. I can tell we're advancing because there's music. I like that in the first game and the second, so I don't mind it. Um, no, she's doing bird calling. Nope. Uh, mechanical bird. You just turn the key to activate it. Good, good. Um, now, can I not place it here? I guess not. Maybe I do need to go in here first. Ah, yes, I do.
No. There's a graphical glitch behind her there. The owl flew away with the key, Kirk. That's good news, Kate Walker. Now we only need... Uh-oh. Kirk. What's wrong? Do Dr. Olga's treatment. Ow. Kirk! Kirk! Can you hear me? Wake up! Come, come. No need to be alarmed, Miss Walker. You're Dr. Olga, I suppose. We weren't expecting you to awaken for another few days, Miss Walker. This is surprising. Truly. If I had known... I would have come by earlier in the day to assist you in your return to the world of the waking. Unlike poor Kirk here, I have no need of help. I am very well, thank you. Fainting is a secondary effect inherent in the treatment, Miss Walker. Nothing more. In medicine, despite any discomfort, protocol must be respected. Oh, you mean that horrible mechanical bed where that poor boy is waiting for a prosthesis that never comes? That's protocol? And I suppose the same is true for the absurd interrogation I had to go through. You seem to have developed a singular paranoia since you came out of the coma. When we get the chance, I'll look into it. But for now, I'm going to ask you to please leave. I have to administer the next stage of the treatment to your young friend. All right. Fine! I'm leaving. I hope all this is going to help him. Well then, I can't imagine why you might think the opposite, Miss Walker. Not ruffling any feathers for now. How is he? Your young friend is reacting to the treatment very well. Everything is fine. He's resting. Well, goodbye, Doctor. I'll come by and see you very soon, Miss Walker. Don't worry. That wasn't creepy at all. Everybody's creepy here. Saying something that in a mental institution like this, the doctors are creepier than the patients. Right, see if my bird has returned. I'm assuming Kirk is sleeping. Yeah. There it is. Thank you, birdie. Kate Walker. Oh. Kirk! How do you feel? Not very well, I'm afraid. Uh, how can I help you? This situation can't go on, Kirk. So what can I do to help you get out? The best thing, Kate Walker, is for you to go along. And if you really want to help me, once you are outside, go to Valsambor and try to recover my prosthesis from the craftsman. If you bring it back to me, Dr. Zamiatine will put it on, and I will be able to go back to my tribe. Can we trust Dr. Zamiatine? I'm not so sure when I see what this clinic is like. The man has always been a friend to the Ukols, and I'm sure he'll be able to help you leave the hospital and find the craftsman in Valsambor. Mm. Okay. I promise to come back as soon as I can with your prosthesis, Kirk.
Until then, hang in there. Thank you, Kate Walker. And may the spirits be with you. Mm. I don't suppose there would be any way I can take him with me with his one leg. As I was going to say, I assume the next part in the story will hopefully get a get to his tribe or something to help him. Because I wouldn't want to leave the poor man on his own here. Uh, try the key again, eh? 